Hey guys, Sothvik here, and today we're going to be going over some 1.14 blocks that I think have made a big change to the game. So, here we go. So the first thing I wanted to go over was the new barrel. You can open these barrels, and they're more useful than they think you are. Let's first go get... Let's throw all this away. Let's go get a, a barrel, and I'll show you why they're so useful. Like chests, these may not go and make a double chest or a double barrel, but the one thing that they're really good at is you can put them anywhere and you can still use them and open them. For example, if we put, let's say, granite on top of this and we try to open it, it still opens. Whereas if we get, let's say, a chest and do the same thing, it won't work because chests can't have full blocks on top of them and be opened so barrel works chest nope for certain blocks like glass the chest can be opened but it's not like you're gonna have glass everywhere so you it's better to have barrels because this way you can put any block on top of them and it'll still be able to open and function properly the next thing I think we should go over is the loom. The loom is a new block and it helps you make banners and designs. So let's get out a couple of things to make the loom. Let's get out some banners or use the loom. Uh, let's get a white banner and some dye. Uh, let's do cyan. So if we go inside this, we can put the white banner in, put in some cyan dye, and we have so many different options here. We can make different designs, and you can even see what they look like for each, for the color right here. So we can go through, see all the options, and decide how we want it to be. And even before you should be done with the crafting table, and now with this, you don't need to remember all the ways to put the die in the crafting table to make it work. So if I, let's say I wanted to do an S, I can get this banner. Let me go get some more banners and die. Um, let's get a stack and some die. Um, where's cyan? There we go. I don't know, I got more banners. So we can put this back in. We can put another piece of dye and we can make this line. I think I messed up. Let's try again. Or we might as well continue with this and try to make it A. But like before with the crafting tables, we don't need to memorize the pattern. So this way it makes it easier for us to make de designs with this. So let's try to find the middle. And there we go. We got a banner that says letter A. Let's place it down. There we go. See, now it's a new now it's a banner and it has the letter A on it. Next, let's go to the smoker. The smoker is a new furnace block that makes smelting food and all food items fat double the speed. So, let's go get out some food and some coal. Uh coal. Where's food? Let's get out some rabbit. And then let's go get a furnace furnace we can put this back all right so now what we can do is we can go inside the smoker and we can put in let's the rabbit and uh, let's put eight one there we go and we put in one piece of coal we can see how fast it's going but this and let's wait like for like two or three to smelt up yeah so that's smelting up but then let's take a furnace let's put in the same eight rabbit and one piece of coal look how much slower that is there's it's going twice as slow than the smoker so and so for when you're starting out and you need to smoke food fast this is one of the ways to go because right now look how slow this is going look how fast this one is going I'm nearly done with six. I did start this after, but it should at least been done with like two. While this one is done with like six, it's already done with the whole load. And this one is still at two. So I think we can all agree that the smoker is a pretty good addition, especially for early game. It makes everything much easier. Now the blast furnace is also pretty similar. If, let's go get out some diamonds. I turned on caps lock. So... 
Uh, so what we can do is the boss furnace is basically the same idea as a smoker, except this time we have something that'll uh, smelt ores twice as fast. So we can again split this into eight parts, put in one um, eight there, and start smelting it, and see we can, it goes double as fast, just the same as a smoker, except this time it's, uh, it's for ores only. And now here we can put in eight. Uh, rung slot and put in one piece of coal and you can see how slow it's going we can get the eight diamonds much faster here than we do here in the time one of these smell two of, one of these smells only half will smelt here so or in the time that one of these smells two will smelt there so it this the, overall these two blocks are similar but except this one uses food only and this one's only for ores so let's break this and we can Open up this. Take a, see our diamonds are already done. Let's quickly go and throw away everything here. Now another block that's made a pretty big difference is the scaffolding block. So if we get a, a stack of scaffolding, we can see that scaffolding is a really useful block in Minecraft because now instead of when you need to build, it becomes much easier. So let's say we need to build a giant structure. We can place scaffolding like this and it constantly goes up and higher and now we can go inside click space and we can stop at any level we want in like a build and try to finish it like right here let's add like a part right in right here which i needed to finish i can do that and let's go all the way up and it's also really useful because you can just keep on stacking it so oh let's just fly to the top um so let's if I can, if I, uh, one second, this is, there we go. I think I'm not, there. So, we can also, uh, we can click shift to go down. And we can also go back a little bit and, uh, place more scaffolding. But it only goes to a certain point. Because after one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, everything starts going, dropping down. So, it's only so far, but after this, you can you can break this place let's say let's get out some more granite uh, we can place granite here uh i think we should we're not okay that's cool something new that i did not know i thought you were able to place gr oh that must have been a glitch let's see oh no we are yes all right i am playing a 1.14.4 so I, I thought this might have changed so we can place granite here and then continue the scaffolding or let me go back up. I um, think no, no, we cannot. But we can make another pillar up to here and continue. And you can continue here if you if you have blocks. Just continue with the blocks instead of scaffolding. So we can just do that, and we can have more scaffolding this way. So overall, I think scaffolding is a great addition. And this is the best part about scaffolding. If we need to break it quick. All we have to do is break the base of all the scaffolding. So if we break this, for example, breaks all this. And we can get back that. And so to break that, all we have to do is break this block. And all of them come tumbling down. And you just have to go pick them up. So they just scatter around like this. And it's really useful. But it is kind of hard to get because you have to get bamboo. And bamboo is only found in bamboo forests. Now here... I think I misplaced these, but here are two blocks that haven't had a function yet. The fletching table and the smithing table. These right now are just workstations for villagers, but in 1.15, these two are going to get functions and uses. Or that's, that's what I think. Now let's move on to the grindstone. The grindstone is now the way we can, we can put repair tools. So let me quickly get some tools. Let's go here get um let's get a shovel here we go let's get a diamond let's get a diamond shovel and let's get out some that and let's get out an anvil so to show you all the uses of this so when you're using a grindstone let's first show the main use let's enchant an anvil uh and a shovel with efficiency five and let's say you found some um, enchant, let's say this was efficiency one and like I'm breaking one and you got it from like an end rating session 
so what you could do is you could unenchant this and gain back levels. So let's say you go on a big end raid and city raid and you get got a lot of like tools and stuff that are enchanted with like really bad enchants. You could just go uh, use the uh, put, take those enchanted items. Survival. I just noticed this campfire is giving us light and I didn't turn off the day cycle. So. Uh, wood one but you can oh wrong place you can go in here and repair these and get a new shovel well i'm not completely sure on that though but that's what the grand is it's also a workstation like uh boss runners i'm pretty sure the smoker is also one and the barrel is one for the fisherman i know that so let's go back into survival uh creative not survival creative and now let's take a look at the stone cutter. Now the stone cutter, I say, is a really great addition, as we can make a lot of uh, cool things with the stone cutter. Let's take out some blocks uh, and decide. Let's find some stone, cobblestone, stone. Yes, this will do. So what we can do with this is. We can put this in here and uh, gain access to all the blocks that we can make from it. So right now we can make any of these and we can even turn it into the polished variant it, and it's one for one. Before, it, and if you get a crafting table, let's quickly get one out. Um, let's do this. Alright, so if we get a crafting table out to make polished andesite, we gotta do all this. Uh, does that not work anymore? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, so now you, the only way to get polished and to say is a stone cutter. So we click the end of, uh this button and we take it out and we can get as many as we want. We can shift click it all and get all of the polished and site. We can also turn it into the slab and a uh, stair variant so we can get 64 stairs. We can also do this with other blocks like granite. We can get like granite stairs or like, granite walls. And even cobblestone. And cobblestone, you also have the same options, and you just get a bunch of walls. And if you use, if you do the same, let's say we're making cobblestone stairs and we're using the crafting table. Here we just put in one cobblestone and we got out one piece of uh, one stair. Let's say, well, let's use stairs for now. All right. But here, if I want some stairs, I need to use one, two, three, four, five, six. Six for four. I mean, six divided by four. So this is. More, you waste more cobblestone using the crafting table than using the stone cutter. So this is really something worth investing on. And the final thing we, I want to talk about, or not final, but I have a couple more, like one more after this. But the, one of the last things I want to talk about is the fireplace. Now the fireplace is a great starter um, thing, uh, crafting block to craft because it takes up one piece of coal and some sticks and some wood. I'm pretty sure. And what we can do with the crafting table is, let's go get out some uh, raw chicken. And what we can do is, with uh, with the um, campfire, we can smelt four pieces of any food at a time. It is a little bit longer than the furnace, but it is uh, a way to smelt four at once. And it's good for when you're just starting up your world. Plus, the campfire is gives you light and it gives you smoke so if you go just a small distance away and you need to quickly find your base you can see the light and you can see the smoke and i'm pretty sure if you place a hay bale underneath or over it you can get more smoke i'll try this after i show you how the chicken pops up so it just pops out and you have to be right there to get it because it might despawn if you're not there for a while but it's a great thing to have at the beginning and i'll try the hay bale thing so let's quickly get out a hay bale a hay bale uh, let's get out a couple. Let's a stack. Uh, so right now the smoke goes up to there. If we place it underneath, I'm pretty sure it should go higher. Or it's over. No, yeah, it's underneath. <coughs> uh, sorry for the cough. Um, yeah. So if you place a hay bale underneath campfires, they go much higher. So let's take a normal campfire without the hay bale underneath. And we can see the difference between them. So let's place this here, place this here. And we can see, or maybe a little bit farther away so we can see the difference. There we go. So now we can see the difference between it. That one goes all the way up there. This one just goes that distance. 
And now the great thing about the hay bales is, uh, sorry, about the campfire is that you can put them out and light them back, uh, light them up again. So let's get a water bucket quickly, and let's, oh man, and let's get a flint and steel, flint and steel. And what we can do now is we can go, uh, get rid of this. Let me click. Um, I should click, put like a hay bale. How do I get rid of the water? I need a water bucket or a normal bucket. Here we go. Sorry for the little wait here. So let's just quickly get the water bucket and we can get rid of that. And now we have a normal campfire. And Green, uh, one of the YouTubers I watch, is really good at building. Uh, he showed us that the underside of this is like a really nice thing to a texture. And we can use this as roofs and stuff. So. Uh, for like a little outdoor balcony, you can use it as the roof there, so it looks a little bit nicer. And if you want, and let's say you want it back, you accidentally placed it, you can just use a flint and steel, and you got it back. So that's and the campfire is really good. I'd say it's good for like chimneys because of the smoke. I think the smoke is really useful for chimneys and other cool ideas with it. You can also use like what Green said. You can like go underneath and use the underside texture of it. You can also, this is just, but if you're using it for like its uh, purpose of like smelting, for big, when you just like the first couple of days or like just mainly the first day, this is really useful because it takes one piece of coal and it lasts you forever. Now, the only downside is if you break it, you get one piece of, like uh, one or two pieces of charcoal. Let's find out. Game mode survival. Let's break it. Ooh, I forgot to get an axe. Okay, let's just break it like this. Yeah, you just get, like, two pieces of charcoal, and that's it. So, that's why it's mainly, um, it's, you shouldn't break it, but, and it's mainly good for, like, the first day that you're starting out in your new uh, survival world. And now, let's quickly talk about a weapon that was newly added, and this is the crossbow. So, let me quickly, oh, um, yeah, so just, yeah, yeah, there we go. So, this is the crossbow, and now the crossbow has some enchantments to make it a little bit better, but let's say we're just starting out. The crossbow is kind of expensive. You need a bow, and you need some tripwire hooks and some other materials. It's not too expensive, but not, like, the first thing you'd craft in the world. And you can use this to shoot, and it's... Very slow. It's much slower than the bow when to get it um, loaded and to shoot. Let's get out a bow here to show you the difference. So if we use a bow, it's just that and you fire. But if you use a crossbow, you have to load it up and then you have to fire it. But there are some things that can make it more useful. So if we get an anvil out uh, and we get... A new enchantment called Quick Charge and get Quick Charge 3. Now we can apply that to the crossbow to make it quicker to in, uh, load and fire. So we can take the crossbow and now we can see it's much faster. Uh, let's just shoot a couple of shots. I don't, I think it's equivalent to the bow now, but it's, oh, and also a good thing about the crossbow is that. To have it, you can just uh, get it loaded and just have it ready in your inventory to be used whenever you want it to. So you can have it just like that. And you can always fire it. And so that, so the crossbow is actually pretty good. Uh, I, I find it, I, I would use this uh, more than the bow, I feel. And you can have like infinity enchantments and some other enchantments on this to make it more useful. And now let's also show you one more thing about the crossbow, which is you can launch fireworks with it. So let me get, um, this is the normal, I'm not sure where the fireworks are in a normal world. I think we might be in miscellaneous. No. Um, crossbow, uh, sorry, fireworks is what I'm looking for. So not here. It should be somewhere here. Okay. Uh, I cannot find them, but you can get, uh, fireworks that shoot out co the actual colored ones, and with those, you can make, you can fire those. So, let's just get out a normal ro rocket for now, 
and you can actually fire the, these rockets from the crossbow. So if we load it up, I'm not sure why this is not working. I know this is um I've done it on Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm not sure why it's not working here. I know this is in all versions. Let's get a rocket out. Do I have a crafting table? No. Okay. So I might need to craft them up. I am not entirely sure. Let's get out some dye. Um, and let's get out. Of, let's quickly find out right now. We might as well. So let's put this in. Let's get out the firework. All right. So tell me what I'm missing in the comments if you guys know about this and. Help me out, because I know this works. Let me see by no. I don't think I've ever crafted. Um, Is it like this? I forgot. All right, yeah, I'll see you next episode if I can remember. But that's but the crossbow should be able to do that. Not sure why it's not working. Anyways, that's oh, uh, it's basically the end of the video. I think, yes, I forgot one thing about the loom. I forgot the... I forgot what you call, where is it? It should be here somewhere. I can't believe I forgot about it. Um, there we go. The uh, this these are the banner patterns that you can only find. So let me quickly show you guys this. I'm sorry I forgot it earlier. Um, but while I still remember it, let me quickly show you. So you can let me get one of each. So these are all um patterns that you can only find and not craft. So Let's get out some banners. Let's get out 16. And let me quickly show you what they do. So you just put one in. I forgot the dye. Let me quickly get some dye. Dye cyan. So they all have different patterns. So let's go with the first one. Put in uh, the banner and put in the dye. This one is a flower uh, cyan flower charge is what it's called. You can also put in other uh, the creeper charge, which comes out like that. The skull charge which is like this you can get the thing which is the moyang uh logo i'm pretty sure and you can get the globe which is just a minecraft cube form of the globe so if we go we can place this all down and they all are cool to have and good to show off with because these are only obtainable by finding them so if you get one it's good to just quickly use it and have it as a little token or an, a trophy so that's basically it for me these are a couple blocks that i found interesting in 1.14 and yeah this is the end of the video thanks for watching please subscribe and leave a like and yeah see you guys in the next episode or video yeah yeah i messed up the outro all right bye